All right, strap in everyone, because today we are diving headfirst into the world of AI. A topic that's been impossible to ignore lately. That's right. It seems like every day there's some new headline about AI. A new breakthrough or a new concern. Exactly. And we've got a stack of articles here that cover the whole spectrum. From groundbreaking research to some seriously big questions about the future. So let's get right into it. First up, we've got to talk about the big news. Huge news, actually. You're right. Huge EE. John Hopfield and Jeffrey Hinton winning the Nobel Prize in Physics. A Nobel Prize for AI. That's a really big deal. It really is. I mean, a Nobel Prize, that tells you just how impactful AI research is becoming. Their work, especially Hinton's research on artificial neural networks, is basically the foundation of AI as we know it. Okay, back up for a sec. Artificial neural networks. Can you unpack that for me? What's so groundbreaking about that? It's like this. Imagine teaching a computer to learn like a human brain. Okay, that sounds pretty futuristic. It is. It involves creating these networks in the computer that can process information and recognize patterns. So instead of just following instructions, these neural networks can actually learn from data. Exactly. And that's what's allowing us to build AI systems that can do things like understand speech, recognize images, and even make decisions. Wow. So those eerily accurate movie recommendations I get. That's the power of neural networks at work. Incredible. <laughs> But AI isn't just changing how we watch movies, it's also making waves in an unexpected place. Let me guess, you're talking about clean energy. You got it. I never would have pictured AI being a friend to the environment, but some of these articles highlight some really innovative uses. AI is being used to optimize renewable energy generation, from making solar power more reliable to predicting maintenance needs for wind turbines. Yeah, one article mentioned using AI to analyze weather patterns so solar farms can be more efficient. Precisely. And on the wind energy side, AI can actually detect tiny changes in turbine performance. Wow, it's like having a digital doctor for our clean energy infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So we've got AI winning Nobel Prizes, fighting climate change. Don't forget about quantum AI. Oh yeah, that's right. Now that one really does sound like something straight out of Star Trek. Mm -hmm. Quantum AI. Where do we even begin with that? It's definitely a mind bender. That's for sure. I always feel like I need a physics degree to understand quantum anything. Well, the basic idea is that quantum computers are fundamentally different from the computers we use today. Different how? Instead of using bits, which are either a zero or a one, quantum computers use qubits. Qubits. And qubits can be both a zero and a one at the same time. It's called superposition. Hold on, hold on. So you're saying these quantum computers can be in two states at once. Exactly. And that allows them to perform calculations at speeds that would make a supercomputer look like a snail. Okay, that is seriously next level. But how does that tie into AI? When you combine the power of quantum computing with AI algorithms... We're talking about a whole new level of intelligence. We could see AI systems capable of solving incredibly complex problems, like designing life-saving drugs or developing new materials, things that are simply impossible for our current technology. It's an exciting but also kind of intimidating thought, right? I mean, we're talking about a whole new level of power. And that's why it's crucial to have conversations about the ethical implications of quantum AI. Absolutely. This kind of power in the wrong hands. It's something we need to be thinking about carefully. We need to make sure that as we develop these technologies, we're doing so responsibly. Couldn't agree more. Now, speaking of responsible development, one of our articles covers the recent AI conference that took place in Busan. The Busan AI conference brought together some of the biggest names in AI, especially from across Asia. It sounds like there was a lot of buzz around the potential of AI, but were there any concerns raised? There were definitely some voices of caution, but overall, the feeling at the conference was one of optimism, especially from business leaders. They must be seeing some real opportunities. Absolutely. They see AI as a game changer for productivity, automation, and innovation, with the potential to transform industries from the ground up. So instead of robots stealing our jobs, it's more about finding ways for humans and AI to work together. Exactly. Take SAP, for example. They're at the forefront of this AI revolution with their development of collaborative AI agents. Okay, you have to explain this one to me. Collaborative AI agents. It sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie. What are they and how do they work? Imagine a team of designers working on a new product. Alongside them are AI agents that analyze market trends. Okay, so they help with research. And more than that, these agents can actually suggest design elements, even create virtual prototypes, all in real time. 
That's incredible. So it's like having a team of AI assistants working alongside human designers. Precisely. And that's just one example. These collaborative AI agents have the potential to revolutionize countless industries. It's about augmenting human capabilities, not replacing them. Now you're getting it. The real power of AI lies in using it to enhance our own creativity and problem-solving abilities. Now that's an exciting thought. Okay, so we've covered Nobel Prizes, clean energy, even the future of work. And we haven't even scratched the surface. That's right. Up next, we're diving into DARPA's groundbreaking work with AI and something called a blisk. Any guesses on what a blisk is? I'll admit, I had to look that one up myself. Me too. But it turns out it's a critical piece of technology, and DARPA is using AI to take it to a whole new level. This is amazing, right? You know, yeah. we go from talking about the future of work to AI designing jet engines. And it's all connected. That's the thing about AI. It really does have the potential to touch every aspect of our lives. It's not just about making things faster or more efficient. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Absolutely. And I think that's what's got everyone so fired up about AI. But as with any powerful tool, we need to be mindful of the potential downsides. That's right. It's not all sunshine and roses. We need to be asking the tough questions, thinking about the ethical implications. And that's what's so important about these deep dives. It's about exploring the whole picture. Exactly. So let's... Uh, See what else is out there. Yeah. What other AI surprises do we have in this stack? Well, one that caught my eye was about the use of AI in the art world. AI art. Now, that's something I haven't wrapped my head around yet. It's pretty wild. We're talking AI generating paintings, sculptures, even composing music. Wait, hold on. AI composing music. Like full-blown symphonies. That's right. There are even AI-generated artworks selling for millions of dollars at auction. Millions. Wow, that's... a. Uh makes you wonder, doesn't it? What does it even mean for something to be considered art when AI is creating it? That's a great question. And it's not just about art, is it? Nope. We're seeing AI pop up in every field imaginable. One article even touched on its potential impact on space exploration. Space exploration. Okay, now you're just messing with me. I'm serious. AI could be used to analyze astronomical data, control spacecraft, maybe even design future missions. Wow. AI really is taking us to infinity and beyond. But let's come back down to Earth for a minute. Good idea. We've talked a lot about the exciting possibilities, but we also need to address the elephant in the room. What about the impact of AI on jobs? A lot of people are worried about losing their livelihoods to robots. It's a valid concern, and it's something that we need to be talking about. Right, because this isn't just some sci-fi fantasy anymore. It's our reality. And the reality is that AI will inevitably automate certain jobs. But it's also important to remember that new jobs will emerge just like they always have with new technologies. So it's not necessarily about jobs disappearing, but more about a shift in the types of jobs that will be available. Exactly. And that means we need to be prepared. We need to be adaptable. Adaptable. That's the key word. We need to be constantly learning and evolving our skills to stay ahead of the curve. And that's where I think we can actually turn this potential threat into an opportunity. What do you mean? Think about it. AI will likely take over the repetitive, mundane tasks. This frees up humans to focus on things that require creativity, critical thinking, and emotional intelligence. The things that make us uniquely human. Exactly. So instead of fearing AI, we should see it as a chance to embrace our strengths, to focus on what we do best. So instead of fearing AI, we should be looking for ways to work with it. To use it as a tool to enhance our own abilities. Exactly. And maybe that's the key to unlocking those seemingly impossible solutions we were talking about earlier. It's really not that far-fetched, is it? I mean, we've seen what AI can do with clean energy, with design, even with art. And those are just the early applications. Imagine what happens when we really start to crack the code on quantum AI. The possibilities are truly mind-boggling. It really makes you wonder, doesn't it? What will the world look like in 20, 30, 50 years? Will we have cured diseases, solved climate change? It's hard to even fathom. It is. But one thing's for sure, it's going to be a wild ride. And we're along for it, whether we like it or not. That's right. So buckle up, everyone, because the age of AI is upon us. And it's just getting started. This has been an incredible journey, exploring the world of AI from its humble beginnings to its mind-blowing potential. It's been a pleasure diving up with you today. Likewise. And to our listeners, thank you for joining us on this exploration of the ever-evolving world of AI. Keep those questions coming. And remember, the future of AI is not predetermined. It's something we create together. So stay curious, stay informed, and until next time, keep exploring.